Hear my prayer, O oh Lord. Give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace in my tears. For I am a stranger with thee, a sojourner, as all my fathers were. Oh, spare me, that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, as watch in the night, they are as asleep. The morning, they are like the grass which groweth up. In the evening, it is cut down and withered. So teach us, teach us, O oh God, to number our days. That we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Make me to lie down in great passions. Leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Jesus. Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Oh, Jesus. Thou prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house are in many mansions. You were not sold. I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. But whither I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. How can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Since by man came death, by man came also resurrection of the dead. For as an animal died, even so Christ shall all be made alive. You may be seated. <coughs> now this I say, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump, the trumpet shall sound, and the 
dead shall be raised incorruptible. We shall be changed. This corruptible must put on incorruption. This mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, then this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yes, sir. As much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Weeping man. Yeah, yeah. Do it for a night. Yes, sir. Joy. But joy comes in the morning. Yes. Amen. Wish I had a witness right there. Amen. 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 Testify. Amen. I know what you're talking about. Uh, Amen. I've been there before. Let's thank God for the life and the legacy of our dear brother, uh, Curtis Lamont White. Can we praise God? For Amen. Him? Amen. 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 We can do better than that. We still believe in a difficult day like today that there's still room and reason to rejoice. For our faith teaches us to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. It's going to take some time to get used to the absence. But one thing we know for certain, God makes no mistakes. He is not a liar. We're grateful that Curtis has transitioned from his labor to his reward. Amen. And after all that's going on in this world, and all the challenges and obstacles and pain that we feel, we ought to thank God that he made it. Amen. We ought to praise God right now Amen. that he made it. Amen. I said we ought to thank God for one of our beloved made it yes, to a place where there'll be no more suffering, yes, no more pain, no more hospital and doctor appointments. Yes. No more surgery or procedures. Yeah. He's transitioned to a place where he's got a new body. All right. Amen. He's got a new walk and a new talk. Amen. He has transitioned to the place where we want to be, to be present with our Lord. Let's give God another hand. Amen. Amen. To this family, Mother White and all of the family, we just want to say we love you. We're praying with and for you. And, um, you know, let's be honest, no matter how much scripture you know, or how many songs you can sing, days like this are difficult. Amen. And so we've come to surround you, to let you know you're not by yourself. Amen. And even beyond this moment, Amen. we're going to be there. Amen. And so it is difficult, but we have learned our relationship with Jesus Christ, difficult days are still doable. Yes, sir. Amen. It's possible. Amen. So let's pray for this family as we move forward and celebrate this life. We're going to follow the order of service as it is printed. We will have a selection by Antonio Terrell, scripture by Reverend Michael Wells. Uh, we have prayer by Reverend Carney and acknowledgments uh, will be done by Sister Dean, and um, and then we'll be back. We'll follow the program in that order as it's printed. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Jesus said to him, <laughs> I am the way. Jesus said to him, I am the way. Yes, the truth and the life. No man coming unto the Father except by me. May the Lord have a blessing upon the hearing, the doing of this holy word. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Oh, yes. Father, in the strong name of Jesus the Christ, yes. we thank you that you bless those who mourn. And God, you comfort those who weep. We thank you that you have given us the blessed assurance that you are with us always. Thank we thank you for giving to this family joy for memories. We thank you for the life and legacy of our beloved brother, yes. Curtis White. Yes. We thank you, O oh God, that you are the giver of life. And we understand that our days are numbered. But we also understand, God, that weeping may endure for a night. But we know that joy will come. So God, in the mighty name of Jesus, right now we ask that you make your power prevalent, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you would renew the strength of this family. We thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding, oh God. We ask right now, God, that you would manifest your love to your people, oh God. And God, in the mighty name of Jesus, when the tears began to fall way over in the midnight hour, oh God, we thank you that you are the God that's your wife tear away. And for that God, we give you all the glory, honor, and praise that you deserve. For you are God and God alone. And you make no mistakes. We thank you and we bless your name in Jesus' name. I know it's hard today, but I want you to know that God is a healer yes. of all things. He wants to heal you yes. every step of the way. Yes. He's going to provide for you yes. each day. Yes. All you got to do is lift your hands and say, Lord, I need you yes. right away. Yes. 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 I'm here today to give some acknowledgments. Think of just crossing a river. Stepping out safe on that shore, mm -hmm. sadness and suffering over, dwelling with Christ evermore. A letter to those <coughs> for the family of Brother Curtis White. Dear Sister Diane White and family, it is with our deepest sympathy that we, Pastor Joshua A. Harris Sr., Lady Courtney Harris, associate ministers, deacons, trustees, and the members of the First Gethsemane Baptist <coughs> Church of Louisville, Kentucky, bow with you in humble submission to the will of God and pray <coughs> for acceptance and peace as you celebrate the life of your loved one, Curtis White. Mm -hmm. We pray that the trustworthiness of God's words in John 11, 25 through 26 will carry you forward. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection <coughs> and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou this. Now, may Almighty God graciously grant you and your family a new revelation of his unfailing love and comforting presence. May his infinite wisdom, benevolent majesty, and sweet communion of his Holy Spirit give you some immediate relief, sustain your healing process, and provide your hearts with a peace as you continue to live in his embrace. Yours in Christ, 
the officers and members of the First Gethsemane Baptist Church, Louisville, Kentucky, Dr. Joshua A. Harris, Sr., Senior Pastor, Reverend Keith A. Bush, Sr., Assistant Pastor, Sister Alexis William, Executive Assistant to the Pastor. The family of the late Curtis Lamont White would like to thank their many friends for their acts of kindness shown during the passing of their loved one. May God continue to bless and keep each one of you. This time we ask that you turn to the obituary portion of your program as we read it silently. Was a very loving person. He was. He did not say no to anyone. If he needed help to help you do something, he was there. Oh, he did not murmur about it. If he could do it, then he could fix majority of the time. He fixed it. <laughs> um, I know. When he was in the nursing home. <coughs> um, on January 11th, they told me that my son only had a couple of days to live. But he stayed here. Yeah. So, 
January the 27th, my God, I felt him here. And I had almost seven months to spend with yes, my yes, son. Yes, 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 yes. And I was, yes. thank God for that. Yes, yes. It was him. Who did this for me? Right. He gave me the strength. Yes. Get up every morning. Yes. To go visit him. To yes. own the church. Mm. And his son Trey was there. Yes. yes. His son Trey was there. Yes. And his son Rashad came. Mm. Oh. His right. sister Leanne. Tiara, Krista, they were there. His sister came. His friend. His brother. Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. <coughs> All right, sis. He's bringing you up. He was a blessing to me. Bless him. He has so many friends here in Louisville, here in Merlin, all around. Cause he was a Marine, so he met a lot of people. I see his cousins out there too, Terry. <laughs> And Boo Boo, <laughs> his name is Richard, but we call him Boo Boo. <laughs> All right. Oh, and his friend Lester. Yeah. Raymond. Who else is I can see him? Yeah. Dion. Dion. Dion, Dion. <coughs> I love y'all fellas. Y'all was always friends with Kurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, I miss everybody so much. I miss my baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be hard coming to help. Mom. Oh. How you doing, Mama Care? <laughs> Every day when I was sick, he gave me a milkshake. He always did. I just started craving milkshakes, but he bowed it to me. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna go on. Because God is gonna give me the strength yes, he is. Yes, he is. to carry on yes, he is. and to uphold my family. Yes, yes. that's what He's gonna do. Amen. Amen. Oh, I have so much to say, but I. I just want to say I love my son. Amen. 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 And Orly. Orly. <laughs> That's what Antoine calls it. Orly. <laughs> my granddaughter, Monica. All my friends, everyone. I thank you so much. Somebody's waving their hands. <laughs> Bridget. Oh, my granddaughter Bridget, I didn't see it. Didn't know who you was with the mask. <laughs> didn't know who you was. And I'd like to thank all of you, all my friends, all my family, everyone for coming. And Miss Linda, I see you over. <laughs> That's my girl. I love everybody and thank you. Thank you so much for attending. I know you went through some trials and tribulations just to be here. That's okay. And it's uh, his lady friend, Danita. Mm -hmm. I see you over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My niece, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Lisa. I 
about Kurt, you know, one of his favorite words, if not his favorite word, was it dude. wasn't dude. It was dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. Because no, normally if he said dude, it was some funny stuff going on. <laughs> Literally or figuratively. Something's going on to where, you know, dude. So with that being said, on the count of three, let's just all shut that out for all. Two, two, three, two. All right, so yeah, I, I, I came up with some words for my uncle. Um, you know, before I get into this too, I'm, you know, I don't want to take up too much time, but Kurt was very special to me, you know, as his niece. I mean, I remember Nintendo's came out, right? Mm -hmm. I know Nintendo was a big to-do. We went from, we transitioned from, what, Atari yep. to, like, Nintendo. So I remember Nintendo that came out, and um, Kirk bought me and Sean a Nintendo, and they were a big to-do. Bought Dior's real big remote control car. Um, you know, would always send us stuff, you know, so... The whole Louis Vuitton thing, oh, you know, because we've been doing that since I was a kid, you know, Kurt was sending us Louis and Gucci and whatever, you know, so I think he helped us, you know, realize that we're stars. We're not a starstruck set of people, right. you know, because he taught us that we're all stars, you know, within ourselves. And, you know, so I just wanted to just kind of let y'all know. Me and Kurt go way back, so uh, I'm going to some words from my uncle. <clears throat> Curtis Lamont White is what his parents named him. He was Captain Kurt, but he didn't save him. Kurt was fly, swaggerific. For his age, he looked terrific. He had a thing about himself that was not easily meant, that no one could easily mimic. He didn't bother nobody. He did him and stayed out the way. He came through when you needed him. It didn't matter today. Kirk was a joke, so he had you in tears. Back hurt, you laughed so hard. A jack of all trades, he could fix whatever. Nothing was ever too hard. Athletic guy, had vertical in his heydays. Jumped so high, you thought he could fly. He had a cooler two-step, my cool uncle. Man, I'm going to miss this guy. He was a real man. Took care of his kids. Yep, that's what he did. Plus, he was a hard worker, but he had fun, too. He made sure that he lived. He was a mama's boy, the unspoken fave. Loved his siblings with everything. He loved the ladies too, but he was too fly for one knee and a couple wedding rings. <laughs> he was a marine. He was tough, but he had a big heart. Plus, he was smart. Kurt didn't put the court before the horse. Kurt was popular, and he's going to be missed by many. Oops, I mean by plenty. A born trendsetter, dressed like a young dude. He was so darn trendy. His favorite word was dude, with emphasis on dude. <laughs> Kirk was never rude. He was a grill master. He loved to barbecue. I'm going to miss him saying, come on over and get some food. Mm -hmm. I love you, Unc, and I'll never forget you. I will always miss you. You were official. Now this thing's official. 
Somebody give us some tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Church, Fairfield in Fairfield, Kentucky, and my pastor, the Reverend um, Dr. Calvin R. Holloway, I greet you with Jesus' joy yeah. to my family. May the Lord bless you, keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you, yeah. be yeah. gracious yeah. unto you, yeah. and give you peace. Amen. 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 I pray we all be ready. Oh my God. Amen. I pray we all be ready. I pray we all be ready for his return. I pray that we get our business straight so we can all meet at the gate. I pray we all be ready. Two men walking by the road. One of them had a hard road. The sky was split and took that one above. The other one that was left behind, he did not purchase his heart in town. He cried to the Lord, but for him it was too late. I pray we all be ready. Oh, I pray we all be ready for his return. I pray that we get out of the street so we can all meet at the gate. I pray we all be ready. For his return. Alright, alright. Man and wife been there a bit. One of them by the spirit then. The rapture came and took that one above. The other one rose on the next day. Find that the loved one rapture away. business straight so we can all meet at the gate I pray we all be ready for his return mama and children in the mall their mama heard the master's call she was swept into the by and by it's hard to rely on your mama's prayer when your mama no longer there Learn how to pray while you still have time Ready. Yeah. Yeah. We want to be ready to 
walk in Jerusalem just like John. So God, as we thank you for this life that was well lived, we ask, oh God, that you minister to our hearts, those of us that still remain, that we will number our days and incline our hearts unto wisdom that one of these days it won't be very long God you will come again and receive us into yourself God we just want to be ready so Lord we thank you for Brother Curtis and we ask that you bless this family allow something to be said that will encourage their hearts keep on keeping on understand that he's not just in a better place he's in the best place we thank you for that promise in Jesus name amen Amen. Amen. we put our hands together bless God's name Corinthians chapter 5 I just want to lift up for your hearing today and it's right in the 6th verse and um, just want to share that just for the few moments that we have to share together it says therefore we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body we are absent from the Lord we walk by faith not by sight. Verse 8 says, we are confident. I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I just want to speak a word of eulogy over our dear brother Curtis Lamont. Um, Tag into this text, this title, Here, Gone, Yet Present. All right. Here, gone, yet present. You know, people don't really show up to places like this for these occasions unless that life meant something. Yes, sir. People don't show up to say goodbye unless your hellos meant something. Amen. No matter how long you knew him or what your experience may have been, each and every one of us are here today to not acknowledge so much the reality of death, but to acknowledge the fact that our lives were blessed because he lived. Maybe that's your testimony today, that you laughed a little bit longer, you (coughs) held on a little bit stronger because of your interaction with Brother Curtis White, that what he shared with you through his unique personality His mere presence alone has made the difference. And I've just learned that we ought not take one another for granted. Mm -hmm. But if he meant something to you today, you ought to give God some glory and honor and praise for allowing his life to cross the paths with you. There's no doubt in our minds he was here. As we've already heard, he had quite a personality, quite a swagger about himself that he even had some culinary gifting that he was a credit to the country as well as faithful to his family and I just want to acknowledge as from one mama's boy to another he took care of his mom All right. you do understand that's something that is Christocentric that it is a character even of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as he was dying on the cross yes, sir. before he yes, took sir. care of the ministry that we are a part of yeah, he took right. care of his first ministry Yes, sir. made sure even while he was in pain to look out amongst those that were there to take care of his mother My Lord. talk to the disciple and said disciple behold your mother mother behold your son mm-hmm. I just want to acknowledge the fact that brother Curtis had enough spiritual maturity to take care of the one that always took care of him All right. Yeah. that's All something right. we ought to acknowledge and All praise right. God for yeah. Yeah. right now yeah. took care of his family was a good friend he was here 
He was here. His presence was felt. His life mattered. He was somebody to be reckoned with. Somebody ought to testify he was here. He saw that smile. He felt his spirit. He shared his heart with you. He he was here. Yes. Amen. That he meant something to you and you meant something to him. Yes. We ought to thank God he was here. Yes. I wish at these moments, you know, one thing is certain about this life and our existence. We may not learn a lot about, a lot from life, but we will learn something from death. Yes, yes sir. Yes. I'm just wondering, there ought to be someone that ought to look at even this moment to remind yourself we are all here. Mm -hmm. And while we are here, we got to love one another. Yes. Yeah. While we are here, yes, Lord. we must seize each and every day. Yeah. Yeah. While we are here, we've got to ought against our neighbor, especially our family member. We ought to get it right today. Yeah. Yeah. That is a message I believe if Curtis was here, he would share with us yeah. to understand that even in his early 50s, how life can be taken away from you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I want you to know, yeah. family and friends, you ought yeah. to take care of one another. Yeah. That you ought to cherish the time that you have left. On, because all of us woke up one step closer to the grave. Yes, but right. it was his grace and his mercy yeah. that allowed us to yeah. still yeah. be here. Yeah. Yes, oh, he was here. Yeah. He was an inspiration. He was here. He was a father. He was a son. He was a brother. He was an uncle. He was a cousin. He was here. Yeah. But now we are here to acknowledge the inescapable reality that he's gone. Yeah. Yeah, gone from this place. That's right. yeah. But as he has transitioned, I talked to you, mother, about this because I was amazed. I remember upon my arrival in Louisville, that was around the time he started having this challenge. I remember what you told us. The doctor said that he only had a short time left. Mm -hmm. In fact, they were counting the days, about maybe a couple of weeks or so. But brothers and sisters, God kept him here. Mm -hmm. And he gave, hear me today, more time. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, I know we would love for him to still be here. The fact remains, he's gone. But one thing I'm shouting about this afternoon is the fact that the doctor said it was over. Mm -hmm. But God said, it's not over till I say it's over. Oh, brothers and sisters, I believe that's something to shout about. Yeah. Even in the midst of tears, stained eyes, knowing that God gave him more time. Yeah. That doctors practice medicine, but only God can still heal. Yes, we thank God that he had more time. Yeah. Now mama to spend time with them every day. Yeah. But we were praying for Mother White and the entire family the whole time, but she would always say, I'm with my baby. Mm -hmm. I'm spending more time. Yes. Now God could have taken them after the diagnosis from the doctor. Yeah, yeah, but because yeah. God loved them enough, mm -hmm. he gave mother and family more time. Yeah. And I wonder if there's anyone that can oh, just baby. praise God. Yeah. I know it's typical today. But I don't know about y'all, but I, I thank God for more time. And I'm not just thanking God for more time for hurts. I'm thanking God for more time for you and I. Because we could have, would have, and should have been there a long time ago. But yes, someone ought to thank God that when you woke up this morning, it wasn't because of your credentials or your weakness. It was because yes, God kept you covered. You ought to thank God you have more time. Yes, That's why David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, His praises shall continuously be in my mouth. You ought to tell somebody, I thank God for more. I thank God for my time. He didn't have to let me live, but he did. I thank God in the midst of a COVID world, he's still keeping me. I thank God for more time. Yeah. 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 He was here. Mm. Now he's gone. Keeping me. Thank God. He's a keeper. Yes, sir. Bless him with more time. Yeah. yeah, he was here. He was gone. But yet the text suggests. He's yet present. Amen. And that's a mystery. Amen. That you can be absent, yet present at the same time. Yes, sir, Reverend. Yes. That, that's, that causes for some theological debate. How can you be absent, but still present at the same time? This is what Corinth tells us. This is what Paul is telling us today. That 
You're absent from this earthly realm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but because God loves us so much, he has made preparation for Brother Curtis. Yeah. 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 And this yeah. is, hear me today, not the end of the road. Come on, it's just a bend in the road. Yes, sir. Yeah. That when you give your life to Jesus Christ like he did, you yeah. transition yeah. not yeah. from life to death, mm -hmm. but you yeah. transition from yeah. life yeah. to life everlasting. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Now, I know we had yeah. Gucci and Louis down here, yeah. but I'm sure the road he's got on right now Reverend. is so much better than what you can find on the rack in the yes, mall. Yeah. Let me tell you, he's got something that's better. He's got something that he's been dreaming of. Let me tell you, he's absent but yet present. Yes, sir. The Bible says to be absent from the body present with the is Lord. to be present with the Lord. Yes, sir. Let me tell you, I know he misses you. I know you miss him. But if he had the option to come back, he would. I mean, in the world that we live in, let's be honest, it's filled with various trials, tribulations. It's always something going on. In fact, if my grandmother was here, she would say, if it's not one thing, it's another. So he is yet present. Yes, sir. Present in that place of no more. He has transitioned from this realm in which there is some more mm -hmm. to the place where there's no more. Amen. Wish I could spend some time yes, right here. I've got to go. Yes, but let me just tell you, in the land of some more, mm -hmm. there's always going to be some sickness. Mm -hmm. In the land of some more, mm -hmm. there's always going to be some ache and pain. In fact, some of you were introduced some, to some new aches and pains this morning mm -hmm. that you fell asleep not feeling at all. Well, Let me tell you, there's always going to be some more. Amen. Always going to be some crime in the streets. Always going to be some issue with government. Always going to be some issue with family. Some more. Yeah. But thank God. Yeah. 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 He has transitioned from this land of some more to that place yes, sir. of no more. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's no more dying. Amen. No more My crying. Lord. No more suffering. My no Lord. more pain. No more doctor's appointments. Yes, sir. No more medication. Yeah. No Lord. more worry. Yeah. No more stressing out about tomorrow. Yeah. He has transitioned to that place yes. of no more. Yeah. My Lord. This is the moment where our faith matters the most. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Question is, what do you believe mm -hmm. uh -huh. about his existence now? Do you believe this is a period, mm -hmm. or do you understand that God has only placed the comma? Yes, sir, Reverend. That right. his right. best days are not behind him, My God. but his yeah. best days are still yet to come. Because he is in a place. Yes, sir. Every day is Sunday. Oh. Yes, sir. And the Sabbath will have no end. Oh. And I don't know how you feel about it, but I want to make it in one day. Oh. That's why I don't have too much time for criticizing and, and yes, complaining and murmuring and trying to keep up with the Joneses. I want to be ready to walk in Jerusalem just like you. Yes, well, we ought to admit today, he was here. My Lord. I thank God he was here. Yeah. I thank God for the time you had to share with him. He was here, but he's gone. But thank God he's yet present. My Lord. He's with the Lord. He's not only in a better place, but he's in the best place. Yes, sir. Thank God he may be absent, but someone ought to declare right now, because of your faith, you know he's still My present. Lord. Present with the Almighty God. Yes, sir. Present with the lily of the valley. Present with the bright and morning star. Present with the rose of shame. Present with the one that put food on your table. He doesn't have to hurt really? anymore. He's present with the Lord. Well, I'm done when I tell you this. There was a father and son relationship. And a part of that relationship was that the father lent his best car to his son. His son took that beautiful red convertible and was driving it so fast that he lost control as he was coming down a winding road. And brothers and sisters, he had an accident. And he absolutely told her the car. He was so afraid that his father was going to lay those paws on him that he called to let him know what was going on. He said, Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm so apologetic. I've, I've wrecked your vehicle. And I don't think it's ever going to be drivable again. He said, Son, let me just ask you the most important question. 
are you okay? Amen. He said, I, I can replace a vehicle, Amen. but I can't replace you. Amen. He said, are you doing okay? He said, Dad, I'm, I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. He said, well, before you leave, I want you to do me one favor. I'm going to call insurance and, and call someone to come get the car, but I want you to do me this one favor before I do. He said, I want you to take the key. I want you to stick it in the ignition to see if it will still start again. He said, well, Daddy, it's, it's completely total. It's, it's beyond repair. He said, boy, do what I said do. Put the key in the ignition to see if it will be able to start up again. Well, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, he took that key one last time, put it in the ignition, and he was able to start it up again. Yes, on the outside, it was over. But yet on the inside, there was still something left. Let me tell you, child of God, he told them in these words, leave the car there, but bring the engine back to me. Yes, and that's what happened on that day when God called Brother Curtis home. He said, leave the frame here, but bring his spirit back to me. Brother and sister, that's something to be glad about because he's made it to that place that we dream about. You want to thank God right now that this body is no longer present, but he's present with the Lord forevermore. Can we give God some praise today? Can we give God glory today? Can we give God honor today? Come on, you want to do better than that. The Lord gave. The Lord has taken away. But bless me today. God, we say thank you. We thank you that Brother Curtis Lamont White, he was here. He's gone, but yet he's still present. Thank you to be absent from the body is still to be present with the Lord. Thank you for his life. Thank you for his love. Thank you for his laughter. And now we thank you for his legacy. Lord, I'm asking that you keep this family. If there ever was a time they needed you, the time is certainly right now. So grip them tight. Hold them close. Give them what they need. But we thank you, oh God, that the record records that if we love right, if we live right, this is not the last time we will cross paths with Curtis. So God, prepare our hearts and minds to live according to your word, your will, and your way. So that not only will we be reunited with Curtis, we'll be reunited with you. Lord, we love you and we lift you. In Jesus' name, let every heart say, Amen. Amen. Put our hands together and bless the name of our God. cemetery but for those that cannot make it we will do one here as well for as much as it has pleased the almighty God and his wise providence to take out of this world unto himself the life of our dear brother we now commit his body to the ground earth to earth ashes to ashes dust to dust they shall hunger no more neither shall they thirst anymore for God shall wipe away all tears from their weeping eyes. God, we say thank you once again. We thank you for Brother Curtis Lamont White. We thank you for all that he has shared with us. And so, Lord, we pray now for his mother, his entire family. We ask that you hold them close. If there ever was a time they needed you, the time is right now. Thank you for being present. We ask, oh God, that you cover them the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. These days are difficult, but through you, they are absolutely doable. 
So give them what they need, grace for their footsteps and mercy for their stumbles. Present them with unmerited favor from on high. And we'll be careful, cautious, and considered enough to give your name all the glory, all the honor. It certainly belongs to you. Here's the benediction. May your days be filled with joy and may your nights be filled with peace. And in the midst of these unforeseen blessings, may you see God more clearly, love God more dearly, and follow him more nearly. And all of God's children said, amen. 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 Thank God. Let's put our hands together. And bless his name. Amen. We are ready to dismiss. God bless you. God keep you. Is our prayer. The Lord be with you.